Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm going to talk about what I want to see more and what I want to see less of next year. And we are all different, we all like different things, we all feel different about things. So this is just what I want to see more and what I want to see less of. If you love some of these things, that is completely okay. I you can think whatever you want. So I have taken seven things that I want to see less of and seven things that I want to see more of next year. And I thought I could start with the things I want to see less of. And we can end off on a positive note. So okay, seven things I want to see more of and seven things I want to see less of. One thing that I really hope goes away next year is glitter in palettes. Pressed glitter. I can take, for example, this orange sugar lad from Colourpop. This has a pressed glitter here in the middle. Clementine. I do not like this. I like, or starting to like, I think glitter is okay. But I don't want them in my palette. I think they can sell it like a single next to the palette, but in the palette... I do not want it, and like palettes that have more than one pressed glitter, no. Just stop that, because it's dangerous to have it in your eyes. So what should you do with it in an eyeshadow palette? Of course you can use it in your eyes if you want to, but it's a pain in the ass to get off as well. You have like glitter specks all over, so glitter and palettes, please stop it. Another thing that I, it feels like I'm, people like this one, but I do not, and that is liquid shadows. And it started like now with duochromes, I have never been that into duochromes or multichromes, but like liquid shadows. I never get them to work for me, I've tried a few, it was a long time ago since then, but... No, maybe it's because I have hooded eyes and it doesn't work because it just smudges up together and it's hard for me Like when it should dry I have to sit like this for it to dry because if I open my eyes it gets smudged So liquid shadows, please stop I can feel like some brands they're going to have a, like a big new release and I'm so excited and then it comes out and it's liquid shadows and I'm like was this the only thing? It's just no. No to liquid shadows. I don't want them in my life. Another thing. That maybe it's not that common but okay we still have Morphe but it's, it's a big large ass palettes. I I just don't know why and I don't know who wants it anymore. I have never tried a Morphe palette and I want one part of me wanted to try a Morphe palette. But it's like it's so big and it's 36 colors and I think I could do it with half of them. So I want to see less of bigger palettes maybe around 15 or 18 i think it's like a good size but more than that no it's hard to store i don't think i think it can be a little bit more overwhelming and i don't feel that you can have like 36 perfect colors it doesn't take so many colors to do a perfect color scheme in a palette so bigger palettes no, 15, 12, 15, 18, it's, it's perfect. Bigger than that, I don't want to see next year, okay? I do not. I don't want to see lip glosses either. <laughs> I know that people love lip glosses. I do not. I have tried really hard to like glosses, to like more like glossy lipsticks. <laughs> It's just not my thing. It's like getting sticky and when you eat it gets everywhere and I like my lipsticks matte. I love my lip liquid lipsticks to be matte. 
I don't want any glasses. I don't want anything creamy. I want a matte. And it feels like 2020, a lot of people start to use glasses and I, I no, no, I've tried. If somebody could give me gloss that is amazing and acting like a matte liquid lipstick but being glossy, I can take it. I have some that I kind of okay with but it's not my first option and I like the one from Kaleidos and the lipsticks from Linda Holberg. They are like a little bit more creamy but other than that, no, bring back this that I have on my lips now. We want this. I want this. This is the best. Another thing that has with eyeshadow palettes, do I never thought that I was going to say that but please stop with the rainbow palettes. I'm fed up with rainbow palettes and I don't even have that many rainbow palettes but sometimes I feel if you have one of them you have them all and I have one really true rainbow palette and it is amazing and I don't think that I need anymore because I have all the shades that I want in that rainbow palette and how how many can people have they are not so different. I understand, okay, if you like you like this brand and you want a rainbow palette from that brand. But it's like some brands, they come out with a rainbow palette and that is the first thing they do. Just because they think it's going to be selling super much. I don't think it is like that anymore. Maybe a couple of years ago, but brands still keep pushing out rainbow palettes and I think it's enough. Who am I? Who have I become? But I, I don't like rainbow palettes anymore. I think they're not that special. And I want something more... Something more than rainbow palettes. The next thing I'm going to talk about, I think I'm pretty alone on this one as well. It is palettes with strange packaging. Like, is it glam light? Like a taco palette, a pizza palette. No. I want my palettes to be squared. They, I don't want them round. I don't want them too long. I don't want them to be a triangle. Even though I love triangles. I don't want them to be an ice cream. I don't want them to be a whatever. I want my palettes to be square. Or rectangular? Rectangular. Like a rectangle. Is it rectangular? Rectangle. Is it that? I hope you get what I mean. I think that is the best. It's easy to store and it looks good. So why change something that doesn't look good? Uh, maybe because I'm not one of these persons that like to display. Maybe because I don't have space. Would I done it? if I had space. I don't think so, but I don't like things that aren't... I want them to be a good shape. So just stop doing palettes in shape of things. And the last thing, I, I I don't know how this is going to sound, but I am sick and tired of influencer brands. It feels like it have come a lot this year. And I do not like it. Like at all. Maybe because I'm not like that into influencers or beauty bloggers or I'm not like a fan like that. So maybe that's why. But sometimes I feel like they do it because they know it's going to sell. And they are going to do a lot of money off it. And I guess it is like that, but nobody like say it because if you would say that, nobody would buy it. But I, I, I just don't get it. It like some influencers. Okay, now what should I do now? Okay, maybe I do a brand, and it's not like even that the brand is going together with the influencer that good. That's just me spilling some tea. But then if we go into the things I want to see more of next year, this is like 
this goes together with what I, with influencer brand. I want to see more collabs instead with influencers, like Rob Beauty Christie and ColourPop. That is really good thing. She doesn't need to do her own brand, and I think that is the way to go. Because then you can both. Like, I do not follow Rora Beauty Chrissy, I see some of her videos, but I I do not have time to to look at one more person, so... But I've seen a, some of her videos, and even though I don't love her and don't follow her, I still maybe want to support her and buy the Colourpop palette she did, and I, I, I did buy it. But if she would have come out with a whole new brand, I wouldn't bought it. But oh, Jesus, okay. If she would have come out with her own brand, I wouldn't have bought it because I don't love her. I hope that you see the difference. I know that ColourPop does a good formula. I know that I like ColourPop things, so I can support her there and like not taking any risks to buy something that I don't want, that I don't, maybe don't like. What is up with me? <laughs> and I think that is the way to go. Because I think you are going to be reaching out to people that doesn't follow you as an influencer, but still they will buy it because they like the brand that you are collabing with. So I would love to see that. I love the Sapphire Nygaard and Colourpop lipsticks, even though I don't watch Sophia and I guard that much. Some video here, he, here and there, there and here. You don't even say that in English. Had och där in Swedish. Um, and I think is this that like the only influencer collab I bought? I bought the Zodiac palette from ColourPop together with Kathleen Lights. I have never watched a video from Kathleen Lights lights ever but I still bought it because I like Colourpop so I think collabs instead of doing own brands. Next thing is liquid lipsticks. <laughs> I rant about gloss I'm going to rant about liquid lipsticks. I love liquid lipsticks. It's the best liquid it's the best liquid it's the best lipstick form there is it is amazing and I want brands to release more liquid lipsticks and less glosses. I don't want more fun colors. I want more reds. I want more formulas. I I just want brands to release more liquid lipsticks, matte liquid lipsticks I might should say. Like Nabla when they came out with Dreamy 2 but that I think that was last year. And they came out, I thought it was going to be new liquid lipsticks. And it was liquid lipsticks, but they were like creamy. <laughs> I bought one of them, I don't love it. And I'm like, why? Just stick to a matte liquid lipstick. So please, all brands, do matte liquid lipsticks. You don't need to have any other lipsticks, just matte liquid lipsticks. Then we can talk about some eyeshadows. I want to see more darker eyeshadows. Now... I'm like into this dark. I, I want to do dark looks. Is this even dark what I have on? A little bit darker. I love a dark smoky eye look. But sometimes when I'm going to do a look with one of the palettes I have. Like I can't deepen this down. I can't make it dark and smoky. And I really want more darker palettes. Even if it's in the middle of July 2021. Just release a dark palette because I love it. And I want maybe not a black in every palette, but I want some maybe two or three darker colors in palettes just to have the opportunity to deepen down the look. So I would love to see that more in next year. Deeper palettes, darker shadows. <laughs> and it feels like the things I'm going to talk about is like the opposite. The things I want to see more about more of is the opposite of what I want to see less of. Maybe that isn't that strange. But I would love to see more smaller palettes. Both like smaller in 
um, shades like maybe 10 shades or 12 shades instead of 24 but I also want to see like smaller pants I think Colourpop has a good I can take the orange chocolate again I think this is a good size because me and a lot of other people we have more than two palettes in our life and with too big of a pan I'm never going to pan an eyeshadow so I think smaller smaller palettes and smaller pans like my US Place palettes I have like the big I have the big magic palette the pans are like this I never going to pan one of those never and just to save space just to save a little bit money just save a little bit more product smaller pants and smaller palettes I also want to see much more of build it yourself palettes like I love lethal I love to go into lethal and do my own palette and I know Menardi has the same and I I'm not that fan of single shadows if I can't buy them in a palette I don't want single shadows all over because I will never use them but if I can do like my own little palette that you can do with lethal and get this home this is like a palette by I have done it myself and I love to do that and I love that I can switch them out if I want to but this I really really like and I would love that all of the brands or more brands would sell singles and you can build your palette yourself. I know it might be like too much of a cost but I really really like that that you can build your own palette. I think that MAC has done it for a long time. I do not support MAC because they test on animals but I would love that more brands would do it next year. And that also comes with face palettes. I'm going to take some examples now. <laughs> now we're doing this. Um, I'm going to take some good examples and some bad examples and why I want to have more do-it-yourself face palettes. We can take Lethal. They have come out with their face things that you can build your own face palette or you can just buy them as singles if you want to and you can buy a pre-made palette. I bought this one. I really like this because this is going to suit me because I am pale and all the three colors in this is going to suit me and if you have a darker complexion you can buy the darker one and all the colors will suit you. And you can build your own if you maybe want two blushes or two highlighters or three blushes, three highlighters or three contour shades. You can do it and you get your use out of your palettes. Because I don't like this, <laughs> like Anastasia. I can't use all of these as highlighters and somebody that is darker than me can't use all of these as highlighters either. So I want to see more like different face palettes maybe like six different shades except of like two or even one I would love to see that next year that more palettes more palettes more brand would do more like face palettes and do like this palette can only be used by maybe three different skin tones not all of the palettes need to suit everybody because we don't need that. I don't need a palette where I can use like half of the palette. So I would love to see more smaller face palettes and a more a bigger ver variety. And also I love when you can pick and choose what you want. And okay, this is going to be much more this is going to be so much longer than I thought. The last thing I want to talk about. And th this, I didn't know if I was going to take this. But it is important for me and I really want this next year. And that is things to be more available for all people. And not <laughs> like with, as I talked about, skin tones and everything with face palettes. 
but I want more people to be able to buy things and I know that it is a lot of money questions about it but sometimes I feel like indie brands tend to like in brands in the US they tend to focus on the US like only and only ship to the US or they take like such a high cost to ship something out of the US. I don't know how it is with shipping and everything but I would much rather like have a cheap shipping that takes maybe two months than have a fast shipping that costs more than the palette I'm buying because I have to buy cost pay for customs and everything and I also would love if it is more like and more available to people and that brands would stop to sell exclusive to things like sugar pill they sell exclusive for Ulta and Sephora in the US and I can't buy from Sephora in the US and I don't think from Ulta either so I would love that brands was more like out there to everybody and not just focus on the US and, and it's much focus on the US and I would like brands to stop do that because even though I live in Sweden I still want to buy your things and that's just how it is and some things like this is all the exclusive how many countries in the world can buy from Ulta not that many countries and I would love to see that more. Um, maybe you can just like do a release. It's all the exclusive the first weeks. And then we sell it from our own site. So that I want to see next, more of next year. That things is going to be available for everybody. And not all the exclusives for exclusive. I would love to see that. And you know what, that was actually all for this video. This was so much longer than I thought it was going to be. I really hoped you liked this. And if you don't agree with me, it is totally okay. I guess that some of you do not agree with me with lip glosses. I don't understand how you can live with a lip gloss, but if you want to, do it. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope that I will see you in the next one. I am posting each and every day now in December. I will try at least. I think I'm going to make it. Maybe I am close to the finish line when you see this. I don't know. But yeah, I really love that you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. And I hope I will see you tomorrow. Bye!